Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be trying out two different methods to silk press my hair. I recorded this routine quite a while ago. <laughs> so I've already straightened my hair, wore it straight, and revert back to curly already. As you know, I'm going through a little bit of low mood and anxiety, so I haven't really been editing as much as I should be, but I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> but anyways, let's get straight into this video. So I just wanted to do a comparison video to see which method was better. Cause as you know, I do have a routine that I really, really like, like the products, I really, really like them. And it gave me the best results I've ever had. Um, if you wanna see that video, I'll link it in the description box below. So I just really want to see like, is it the method that I've done or is it the products that I used? You've seen me do this routine many, many times and my videos are pretty long all the time. So I thought it would just be good to just have the straightening process on its own and just talk about it a little bit more as well. So I started off by sectioning my hair into three sections on both sides and I started from the back going towards the top. And I did pretty small sections because I know that GHGs can't handle thick sections. And I wanted to have my hair as silky as possible. So on this side, I'm going to be using the fine tooth comb with my GHG straighteners. I also wanted to see if the straighteners made a difference as well, which I actually think it did. I'll review it a bit more in my curly to straight routine. So I'm just straightening my hair as usual in sections. I've already washed, deep conditioned, applied my products and blow dried already. I do have my blow drying routine up already. I'll leave that video in the description box below as well. So I'm not even going to lie to you. When I watched back the footage of this video, I really, really liked this side much better than the Denman straightening brush. I don't know whether it's because I had the fan blowing on me. I do realize that if I have the fan blowing or I open a window, my silk presses poof up pretty much straight away. But on the day that I straightened my hair, it was really hot and I was wearing a long sleeve top as well. So I was actually sweating at the roots already, which was peeing me off so much. So I actually had to keep the fan on me. And this resulted with that immediate puffing action. Like even though my hair was dead straight and it was, you know, really light and airy, it was a little bit poofy. Although it did actually go away once I added a bit more silk and seal. It's a mist spray on top after I was finished. But um, yeah, I was not really liking the way that my hair was just so airy. It was silky, but it was just like blowing away, if you get what I mean. So I did notice that the fine tooth comb was getting it a little bit more straighter than the straightening hairbrush. The straightening hairbrush, I have no idea why. Maybe it's something to do with the static, like it has a lot more tension than the fine tooth comb. So maybe the static was making it, you know, poof up like it was a bit electrified. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was very, very happy with my straightening brush before I watched the footage back with this video. I'd actually definitely recommend it to people as well. But I also can't deny that the fine tooth comb came out with better results. The GHGs, on the other hand, I don't think I would ever be using these again for a silk press. Only for top shops or something like that because they're not hot enough to get my hair really, really silky. So yeah, they're not in the bin yet, but <laughs> they're on the sideline. I done. Ooh. Yes. Amazing. Look at it, guys. Look how silky that is. Very, very silky. The fan is not letting me be great right now, honestly. It didn't actually take me that long to straighten the whole hair. It only took about 45 minutes, which was excellent. <laughs> But yeah, also I can see that my hair has broken a lot at the back of my hair and I can only put that down to put my hair up in pineapples too much. But I also have had a lot of hair loss as well and I'll talk about that in another video. I'll have a sit down video and talk about it with you guys. But it's nothing to do with my hair's health or my scalp health or anything like that. It's something internally and I'll, yeah, I'll explain it a bit more in another video. Hmm. I do feel like the... That tail might be doing a better job. Not sure yet. I'm not really feeling the way it's coming out, to be honest. This side's coming out a bit funky. I'm not enjoying it right now. And I didn't do anything differently. This side was even blow dried better. I also had a lot of single strand knots as well because I was overdue for my trim. A little bit of self neglect there. <laughs> 
but there was a lot of single strand knots and I found that using the fine tooth comb was a lot more easier than using the straightening brush because the straightening brush was just snagging on all of the knots and as you can see I'm like kind of pulling once I get to the ends and that's not what you want to happen because <laughs> you're going to cause breakage. I think it was just that section of my hair must be very re very rebellious back there because it's working just fine now. The fine tooth comb was a lot more manageable as in it didn't weigh my hands down. It wasn't clumsy when I was trying to pull it through my hair. Whereas with the brush, it takes a bit more tension on your hand to hold it together. So yeah, it's a bit lighter on the hand, less clumsy. But I do think that the poofiness with the straightening brush is due to static more than just the brush itself because I straightened it both on the same heat. And the way I thought about it is that more tension would be better to straighten the hair. That hurt. Most hairdressers and professionals use rat tail combs or fine tooth combs. And I also use a fine tooth comb when I used to do my straightening routines back in the day when I was a lot younger than I am now. <laughs> and it never failed me. It was never a problem. So when I bought this brush, I was just trying out something new. And I definitely still do recommend it. But I think for the best of the best of the best results, I would stick to my fine tooth comb. But I have it now, so what am I just gonna do? Just leave it on the sideline? <laughs> no, I'm gonna continue to use it. So even though I do recommend the brush, I don't think it's necessary for you to get the best of the best results. And I think I do actually remember saying in one of my old videos that it probably made a difference in my silk press routine, but I think what made a difference was the products. The products I used were a lot better than what I used to use. So that's the main differences that I found when comparing both of these tools. But yeah, I will have my curly to straight routine up next week. So that's all done. Whew. I feel like the wind is just making it a bit frizzy. That's okay. Oh, feels so good. Look at that. Very light and airy. Can you see a difference? I can't really see a difference, not really, it's definitely thinner though, definitely definitely thinner, but it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it is what it is, hair is so lightweight, look at that, just blowing in the wind. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.